Have you ever done this? Snap a photo of your ID or passport to apply for something, emailed it to someone and then never looked at it again? This is how much digital data we generate. Every second, every minute, every day. There's a certain class of clutter we've overlooked. Our digital clutter. actually bring everything like of a similar category into one single folder. In a physical way, when you put all your books on the table, that's when you're like, oh my god, why do I have so many books? So we've started putting like all the music into the music folder, mm -hmm. so which means later on I'll have to open up the music folder and sort yeah. which one I want yes. to keep and which one I want to delete. Yes. Sometimes when you know that you don't really use that certain app, you could afford to actually delete it. So if you find that you do need it, then just you know, re-download it, it's just a click away. Alright, yeah, but you see for example the right healings, I mean I want to price compare. Well, yeah, maybe just kind of narrow down to like the next three. Sometimes when you limit the choices a little bit, it can give you some clarity in deciding which is best for you. Okay, there's a lot of spam. So instead of deleting, which what I was noticing you were doing, <laughs> setting a time to sit down, see which one you would like to unsubscribe and just go through that whole process. It's about keeping track and being more intentional and deliberate. It's quite similar to the physical clutter that we have in our house. Mm -hmm. Pretty similar. It causes the same amount of like stress on our mind because it takes up that same amount of space that you can use for like say creativity. It's not physical, you don't really see it all the time. Right. Uh, so does it really affect us in the same way? It doesn't matter whether is it visible or not visible, it's still in the brain, mm. you know? It stays in the frontal lobe, the frontal lobe sometimes need the, the space, right? To help us plan, to help us think. When this becomes overwhelmed is that it triggers another part of the brain that generates like emotions. Mm. The, the most dominant one is anxiety or fear. Wow, what is stored here? Suites like this uh, will store email, uh, video, uh, social media content sometimes, uh, you know, anything that you do online. How much data can be stored in the entire building? 300 plus million gigabytes of, uh, of storage. Is it right to say that the more data I use and store, uh, the more data centers we're going to need, the more energy we're going to need? Absolutely, there's a direct link. Uh, Joshua, I just found uh, that uh, you've been pwned on six breach sites. So let's say a digital hoarder who keeps tens of thousands of photos or videos uh, on laptops or, or on his phone, um, but doesn't send them out. He should be safe, right? But these days, a lot of apps uh, ask for access to things like your camera roll. Um, you just need to be cognizant as you give access to this app. For me, the best strategy is to, to like remove things that you aren't using. Sometimes, you know, app companies go out of business, uh, and if you keep those older apps on their phone, uh, essentially over time, vulnerabilities get discovered, and those apps become more successful and allow access to things like your photos or other things.